Hi everybody and welcome to JLB Art's latest pet portrait commission. This is Sophie and Poppy. So let's start. Starting with the eyes on Sophie, trying to get that really deep look and glassy eye effect. Moving on to the fur, starting off with a light layer of indigo blue. Most of the black fur in this dog is has blue tones, red tones, and on the top is reflected a very pale yellow. So we have to remember to mix those tones in with the black fur. The very last layer is black. This gives a really deep fur effect. Also, while working on pastel mat, you can add those lighter tones at the end. Here, I'm using a light grey just to give the effect of those lighter areas around the eyes. Where cutting in to white and black, you must be careful not to muddy the white areas. Keep your pencil strokes really light and only blend on the final layers. Here I'm working from light to dark on Sophie's muzzle and nose and then blending those final darker layers to give the effect that white fur has merged into the darker areas. This was something I really struggled with when starting but you soon learn that light pressure, light strokes and building the tones up around that area is the best way to achieve a double look within white and dark fur. There really wasn't a lot of Sophie's tongue to actually put in this portrait. So just remembering that the tones, the darker tones of pink on this portrait within the mouth are more of a purpley blue colour. If you try to add black as a shadow, it just goes a horrible murky grey effect with pink. So I tend to use the darker shades of the colour that I'm using. Finally, just on those areas where I've left my pencil pressure really light, I can add in some white hairs, just flicking out the pencil to give that illusion that the hair goes from thick to thin. Next, moving on to Poppy. Poppy is a gorgeous girl who also has a lot of black fur. She's mainly black completely. And in the light of the photograph, a lot of that blue was reflected. So same process, starting off with a layer of indigo blue and we can build up the tones from there. Keeping my pencil really light pressure. As you can see, I hold my pencil further back. This creates natural lighter pressure so if you need lighter pressure hold your pencil further back
again, once I've finished blending, I just finished off with a light blue Pablo, just to give the illusion of the light reflecting on the fur. Onto the nose again, dark indigo blue and building up those tonal values from darkest to lightest. Here we are using some magenta, some light grey to flick those little hairs out. And there's also quite yellowy tones within black fur. So there you will see I've just added a small amount of yellow. Onto the mouth and Poppy's mouth was a lot more complicated um, than Sophie's. So here I'm just using light pressure and building up the values within the mouth to give that 3D effect that the tongue is sticking out and that there's light reflected from it. Onto the ears, how I approach ears, I like to mark out some of the wavy lines and the curls within the ears and then build up the tonal values from dark to light and then reverse the process. Blending along the way, keeping my pressure really, really light and giving that illusion of really fluffy curly fur. Once the collar and the fur around the chest is in on Poppy, we are almost completed. It's just going over the finer details. Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, hit subscribe and feel free to like and share with friends and family. Thank you. Bye bye.